Hello friends, this is Surya Padhi. Today I'm going to talk on a topic of S4HANA 1809 group reporting. I am a chartered accountant. I have 25 years of experience out of that, eight years in domain and 17 years in SAP consulting. I authored two SAP FIC book. I work as a finance solution architect and a subject matter expert in the area of financial consolidation. So today's topic is group reporting data release from SE Doc A to SE Doc U. SE Doc A is used to capture the financial transaction which are posted in S per HANA Finance while SC Doc U is a table used to capture transaction per financial to prefer consolidation consolidated financial statement so this is the screenshot you must be familiar with it this is nothing else it is a fb50 posting or you can see this transaction in fb03 and what i did here i posted a transaction to company code h000 in the year 2018 December and I post debited to petty cash and credited to common stock once you post this transaction you can see this transaction in SC doc a in SC doc a these transactions are kept captured in 0l ledger and you can see here and also as well as uh, 2L, ledger 2L. And then the next task comes into picture is releasing the financial transaction for group reporting. So this is the data manager which is used in group reporting um, for local accountant. And here in this screen, you can see activities are organized in a column and entities are in the row. On the left side, you can see the organization structure of consolidated consolidation group and consolidation units. So I want to release the data, then what I will do I will click on this intersection of universal journal release universal journal and the row then I will click on update run once you click on the update run you can see the transactional data which system is proposing to be transport to SC doc queue So once you think that it is appropriate and everything is correct, you can save it. Then automatically you will get a message that SE doc U table being updated. So same, we can simulate it in the system to see how it works. Now let us post a transaction in the company code. It's 0, 0, 0. I'm executing a B50 transaction to post a journal. So I'm trying to post 1st of December 2012. 1st of December 2000, sorry, 2018. And test demo. Now I can select the GL. This is my particular account. I want to debit it bit three thousand dollar and I want to credit it to command stock. So three thousand dollar. Now you can post it. Uh, 
okay i'm posting to ppc here that's fine and now you can see that document is posted and this is the document let us display the document everything is good now I can see this document in SE doc a table SC doc a okay company code is h zero 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 document number is this is 2018 execute so what you can see I have three document here so these are my accounts and this is my transaction currency okay so in the case account case account you can see that there are three transaction first second and third and uh, these two these two transactions are posted earlier and this is the transaction we posted this time and now i want to show you how you can release data from SC doc A to SC doc Q. I'm navigating to EGSS and here you can see the data monitor and the data monitor just expand the uh, uh, consolidation structure. Click on the intersection of release universal journal and the company code and click on update run once you click on update update run you can see this window then click on reported financial data now you can see all transaction which were posted to company code h000 now you can see the old transaction and new transaction since old transaction are up already updated in sc doc u table and the system now will update only the new transaction and now save it and it will give you will get this uh, informational window do you want to confirm release of the reported financial data say continue release of reported financial data in consultation was updated now you can go and see a c doc u table let us limit to the dimension ledger at least c1 
so you can see here all the six transactions updated you can see here the three thousand dollar whatever we posted now you can see in our sc doc queue table one interesting thing you can see here this is my ledger this is my consultation ledger and uh, this is my consultation dimension consultation year consultation document number and here you can see consultation unit now you can see consultation chart up account and uh, fs item in the consultation chart up account and we can see here also the document number from the finance and also these are the sub item Okay, then let us uh, run some report in SAP Fury to see the local balance sheet of the consolidation unit. Now I am in, in SAP Fury and you can see that local reports, this is uh, balance sheet by consolidation unit, click on it. Then it will come up the selection screen and change the selection screen to our requirement 2018 period is fine consultation unit is h000 say okay and everything is good now you can see the balance sheet of a consolidation unit that is h000 and fs items are grouped here based on the reporting requirement and if you expand all the way then you can see fs item that is case on hand it is being updated with the, the new dollar value similarly the equity account is also updated with the the new dollar values Now you can see that it is a seamless process to transfer the financial transaction from AC Doc A to AC Doc Q. To achieve this object, we have to configure, we have to map, and uh, we have to integrate the consultation unit to company code the consultation chart up account to operational chart up account and the fs item to gl gl account so that we can achieve the result back to our presentation so one thing you need to know to achieve this seamless process there is an integration between the company code and the consultation unit the chart up account operational chart up account and the consultation chart up account the operational gl account with the fs item if if all these 
are mapped correctly, we can transfer easily the transactional financial transaction data from AC doc A to AC doc Q. And we can do, we can repeat it multiple times. During the closing process, there is no harm of it. I think we will like it. So for more information on this topic, email me, also ping me in the LinkedIn, in the LinkedIn and also subscribe my YouTube channel for more updated videos on this topic. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day.